Hi YouTube, Roleplay Geek here. Welcome to part 4 of my RPG mapping in SketchUp series. In this video I'm going to be adding some smaller features such as chimneys, towers and dormers to the buildings created in episodes 2 and 3. Make sure you check out the playlist as some of the techniques I use are shown in more detail in those earlier videos. Double click on the building to open the group then draw a line out from the midpoint of the wall. Add two small boxes either side of this line and delete the midline. Pull this rectangle up along the blue axis to form your chimney at the desired height. Select all the faces in the object and use the Intersect Faces Context Menu option to divide all the intersecting faces. This step is an important technique as it allows you to delete the excess lines without deleting any of the model's faces. The technique is the same on this hip roof. If you're not happy with the size of your chimney, you can widen it. Here I use a construction face to make sure that when I pull it, it snaps to a square shape. Using construction lines and planes in this way is an important technique when adding detail to an existing model. You can add a feature anywhere on a model, but horizontal and vertical planes make it easier. On this hip roof, we first need to construct the square shape of our chimney using construction lines and planes. Once we're happy with this, we can use the Move Copy tool to drag it up and delete all our construction lines. Then push it back down so it cuts into the roof shape. We then select all the faces and intersect them using the context menu. Dormers are typical of objects which sit on sloping planes. They're easier to draw once you've established your construction lines. 
Use the shift key to constrain your lines to just the red, blue or green axis. Then draw the window or gable face as a vertical plane or as a series of triangles. In this example, I'm adding three different dormer shapes to demonstrate the various approaches to drawing this type of object. Typically, buildings will have consistently sized and styled features which you can achieve by using the Copy Move tool. You can also turn your completed features into components, but I'll cover that in another episode. Eyebrow dormers are sometimes curved or other non-standard shapes, which again are much easier to draw once you've established a vertical plane. Here I'm using the Move Copy tool to duplicate my eyebrow and reposition it further along the roof. Whilst the default SketchUp view is okay to use when drawing, it's pretty dull. There are lots of styles available however in the Styles palette, many of which have a hand-drawn look which makes them perfect if your ultimate goal is to use these in handout maps for your players or as a point of view illustration of a particular scene. You can of course export these as 2D images and edit them further in Photoshop or a similar bitmap editor. To recap, we now have all the basic techniques to add the third dimension to a 2D map and I'll be showing you how in the next episode. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.